see me. Yes, you're damn right. Showing you a little bit of skin. Woo! I'll save that later for you. This is my life right now. You too can be in the fabulous world of radio and be 40 and be me. Whatever. Woo! You know you want to see some legs. This is what my life has become right now. My last ounce of dignity gone and out the window. What's going on? How you doing? These are my peeps. How's it going, baby? What's going on, buddy? radio business too someday. I'm 40. Great. I cross-dress. I cross-dress recreationally. Some people look away just because they're, they're very awkward with it. Now, the funny part about it is that guy just had a lime green t-shirt on and looking at me like I'm making an ass out of myself. Don't wear underpants if you wear a dress, you'll love it. That they're not even comfortable with their sexuality because they refuse to even look over and acknowledge it. And the guy just walked by like angry. Whoa. Gotta get back to work. Let's give me a little tug on that one. That over there is precisely what I'm talking about. It's the people who come out here every campaign season and they line up across the street. There's an exact number of, you'll see supporters here and supporters over here. And where I'm from, if there's an exact number of both sides, they cancel each other out and they all need to go home. Seriously. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna vote for whoever that is because that guy over there is insane. Yeah, we, I can tell, we got a lot in common. Look at me. Okay, look at me. And now look at him. Okay. Me? Him. I'm not voting for his candidate! Ever! How's it going, baby? Oh, don't pretend I'm not hot. They all do that. Don't pretend I'm not hot. You like me. Don't ignore him. He won't go away. Oh, that was cruel and unusual. Just ridiculous. Oh, boy. Don't peep at those guys. Peep at me. are stealing my thunder. I mean, election season is like nine months away. It's June. Sorry, didn't mean to lose my mind there. Just trying to do a serious job here. I'm trying to maintain my dignity. And these clowns have to steal our turf. It's just not right. Don't be jealous! Yeah. 
I'm still a little, I'm a little upset. Those guys clearly moved in on our turf. See, if this is New Jack City, we'd do a little rock a bye baby on the man with the beard. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm beginning to perspire a lot. You ever see that documentary with the guy that got bit by the snake on purpose and they documented just how, no, was it a snake? No, it was the Tichondria box jellyfish. And he got bit on purpose or stung. And for like three days, they documented his pain. So th this is sort of like the first half hour into it. I'm beginning to perspire heavily. Hey, baby. No, I... I don't have anything to write my number down with, sorry. It happens all the time, all the time. Wow. See, the embarrassing part of it is there are some extremely hot women who have been by here 19 times. Okay, once, but What's your daughter's phone number? Oh, seriously. Oh boy, here we go. Bax and O'Brien on a romantic afternoon getaway on their motorcycle. That's so nice. What's up, guys? A really hot woman came by and gave me this gum. She knew my name. Look at the UPS man! We were made to be together! Look at my dress! Oh my, I think I'm in love! Did you see the color of that UPS truck? Alright. Little, little love story scene there. Glad we could share in that one. How you doing, baby? This, I do the. I try to incorporate a little bit of uh, the show into it. You know what I mean? Like, presidents go like this, the show goes like this. Sort of like, and it works in a Cleveland Indians game too. I can just go like this, and they love it. I mean, a Cleveland Indian Americans or a Cleveland Native Americans game. Hi, how you doing, sir? Great shades. Give back to my dad when you get a chance. Hey, how's it going? You want me? You want me. We've been out here for 50 minutes. And I wanted to do a quick taping in case I die of a heat stroke. For all the people who believe that they cannot make a difference in the world, you can make a difference. In your own backyard, in your own community, within your own local family. And if you have any question about that, take a long look. It's the greatest moment of my life! I'd rather be on fire, right now. Look at my nose hairs. Gross. What's going on, everybody? 